These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> all right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here and today is all about that Raga AIO from Aspire. You know, it's so rare that I get to review Aspire stuff. They're one of the OG companies and I've kind of always been a little bit of a fan and I know they're producing some very cool stuff and I think the Raga AIO is a pretty good example of that pretty cool stuff. This is a real, real slick little AIO. It's got an exposed battery. I am hashtag team exposed battery, but I know that's not everyone's favorite thing Whoa, swinging my arms around all over the place, knocking things over. With some cool battery wraps, it th I think it adds another level of customizing to the device and personalizing it, and I think that's really cool. So I'm team exposed battery wrap. Before we get any further, this does have some pretty nice hand feel. On the hand feel level, it's probably like a solid seven or an eight. It's a little bit tall for like a real suit, at least for me, it's a little bit tall. I would like something maybe just a hair squattier for that perfect, perfect hand feel, but this does you know, have unreasonably good hand feel. And part of that is the exposed battery, that rounded battery on the back just goes right there, buttons right here, vaps. Solidly, solidly good hand feel and a nice, nice clicky button right here. Removable panels, back panel comes off, front panel comes off, the back panel comes off I think because the front panel comes off and they wanted it to be matching. All that's really happening back here is it's covering up screws, which I'm assuming is for the chip. I've seen some of these Cerakoted, so I don't know if it's fully completely disassemblable down to nothing, but there's buttons up, down, and air. The front panel obviously comes off to get to your Boro on the front. This is a traditional locking nut on top. I know there's some like wheel looking threads right here. Those are of no consequence to the Boro. Those are if I wanna take off that whole brass fitting, and I don't. There are threads over here and clockwise is going to release the contact, but it doesn't really le release the battery. You can see the device kind of hugs the battery into place, just feels really secure. I have to physically go in here and yank it out. Battery slide, even in the pure white, is pretty clearly marked. So I'm gonna kinda snap push the battery in. It's nice, feels really secure. And I can still twist it. Like if I have an extra sick battery wrap, you know, that I want the correct part facing, I can kinda twist it in here, and get it where it needs to go. But it is generally easier to just take it out and put it in the right way the first time. I'm gonna turn this wheel counterclockwise and I know I've turned it far enough when the screen comes on. There it is, Raga. This is not a new coil, this is an old coil. So we're gonna select no, this side, old coil. We're gonna notice a lot of things right here. We're gonna notice wattage, resistance, volts, amps, battery level, N no puff counter though. You can't hide from me, show yourself. No puff counter though. No puff counter though, what a bummer. Press and hold the up down buttons. It's gonna let us change the mode. Wattage, voltage, bypass, nickel, titanium, 3OC stainless steel, and then a vaping power curve, I believe, is at the bottom. We're gonna leave this on wattage. That's it, that's what it does, normal. It's a straightforward chip. There is some obvious customization to it. I've already seen some third-party panels. I've already seen some painted ragas, and they all look very slick. I think I have a good starting point here. I like the white, if anything, I might get black, black, black. This is a device that I've been using so much and I like the look of it so much and I like the exposed battery of it so much that I wanna customize it. I don't necessarily love that K-Fun Boro on the inside, but that's for another video. Oh man, what happened to flavor? Oleg Drip Tip tops it off there. I just, I like the look of this a lot. And sorry, the 510 pin underneath the Boro tank is also adjustable up and down with a little flathead screwdriver. It's really well thought out. It's really well put together. I've never been really disappointed with Aspire stuff. I feel like despite the panels, there's still plenty of airflow. Yeah, this is a mouth to lung. All right, well, let's just put a restricted lung in here real quick. I have a restricted lung Monarchy MS in my stubby that stayed pretty clean for the last two weeks. Yep, easily fits in here, no problem. This is the crypt tank. Yep, new coil. Whoops. All the panels are back on, same wattage as the stubby. Cheers. Yeah, feel plenty of airflow. Doesn't feel overly restricted in any way. That's actually really good. Okay, maybe I get a little bit more airflow with the door off. 
feels the exact same in the stubby. I, you know, I really can't think of any reason why I shouldn't give this 10 banana stickers. I can't think of a thing to ding it for. It doesn't even have any like button rattle or battery rattle or anything. It is tight, palmable, really well made. I mean, aspire for the win. There are a, a lot, I feel, of you know, sort of billet box alternatives out there and coming out this year, the Raga easily stands among the best of them. Now, I can't tell you exactly how much these cost. I will say they're not giving them away for free, but it still is, I would, I can say, I've seen them in places for less than $110. $15. So that's still some vape budget hands. It's certainly nothing to blow your nose at, but the quality for that price is really remarkable. Like I said, I'm thankful to have gotten the white. I think it's honestly the coolest of the colors. I've seen some like custom Ragas that look really sick, but like the stock Ragas didn't come in a lot of really cool colors. I don't know. This is where the rambling starts. And I don't think there's anything else I can tell you except right now, if you are a person who smokes combustible tobacco cigarettes, it's time to switch. I believe in you. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a grim green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So.